What was last episode all about? Something something buy high sell low probably not in that order but there's a bunch of different silver coins and we're trying to figure out which coin is going to come out on top some people might be cutting the value of silver within these coins so that they can pump even more coins and swallow up the other i'm kind of following i'm not really following but the point is that guy with the missing tooth that was telling lawrence about this you know plot to get more money by kind of seeing the future and seeing which silver will come out on top he might have not been lying I don't really know what that's about, but let's begin today's reaction. It's a scammer again. ことでてっぱいで他の儲け話や was interesting right there, right? That was, that was kind of interesting right there, right? Photo was not even listening. Looking at this guy. And this guy gave us a sus look. Is he after us? <laughs> Romantic <laughs> merchant and moonlit farewell. Wait, so the sussy guy at the bar table that we were looking at, he was actually working with us. And so, okay, okay, okay. So, we're, we got someone to, like, keep a look on that scammer guy who could potentially be a scammer. You know, this is one of the first ever events of, like, a crypto rug pull. Well, it's not just crypto rug pulls, but, like, there was, like, the time of, uh, I'm not sure how old you guys are, but back in, like, 2020, uh, there was this whole meme stock uh, event going on with like uh, GME and uh, I think there was some AMD I forget but people on reddit wall street bets people are like yo fuck it everybody go balls in on GameStop stonk we're gonna make this stonk go to the fucking moon get it guess what get on dogecoin too so you have people just like spreading this news like yo the stock is gonna go to the moon. You gotta fucking buy it. You gotta buy it. So, so he's kind of doing the same shit right now. By corner, I was like, this silver coin, it's gonna fucking moon. So go there, what did the Tebana sold to the show in Tachikara Ginka? We say any kaitori. Yes, pretty smart plan. They've been doing that shit all the way back in this medieval days, huh? What will they do? Melt it. Make new coins. Mint that. <laughs> the, <laughs> the apple scented fur, right? And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, I'm kind of forgetting the details. But because he mentioned the apple scented fur, remember last episode, we scammed a dude. Was this the same guy? Was, was this the same guy that we scammed or is this a separate person that's just hearing about, you know, what we did with it? I forget. He's wearing a hat now. Does he know he got scammed or is he joking right now and it's like, all right, you got me, but... I can't tell. I can't tell. Does he know he got scammed or what? It's all about the experience, just like the scent on the Martin Furs. I'd like to think that he knows he got scammed and he's being a good sport about it and saying to Horo, like, yeah, you got me. You fucking got me. I'm gonna, I, it's my head cannon. That's what he's thinking. You got me. What's so funny? <laughs> Wanna tell me about it? What's, what's, what's so fucking funny? Is she trying to make us fucking jealous again? Remember last episode? She's fucking trying to quote unquote flirt with that guy just to see what Lawrence would do right now. And even now, she's like talking about some other dude about how well he treated her. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Cheeky fucking grandma wolf. どうした?主に伝えることがあった。結構重要なことだった気がするんじゃが。本当に重要なことなら。Something oh. important? Sounds important. Uh, okay, we'll forget about it for now. He tucks her in.
ウィクティンマルハイ。受けさせていただきます。つまり、え、彼の後ろには Basically, if you help us, how we're gonna split the profit? 400k silver? Holy shit, bro. 2,000. 10x our gains from our uh, last episode scam. What? Wait, she actually hung over? The fuck? Is she gonna throw up on us? She's acting weird today. She was she has something that she wanted to tell us, we just forgot. That the store he's gonna, you know. He's gonna start with the two thousand coins. I mean, if you're a traveling merchant though, is there a point of having a store? That you're traveling. But I guess it's like a base of operation. Makoto does the same shit too. Everybody travels in merchant, but they have like little home bases and you can like spread it out like a franchise. I feel like these are flags and it's not gonna happen. Easier time finding a wife. I think it's pretty obvious that Hodo's gonna be the wife. If, if I mean, the first episode literally showed a fucking white-haired fox girl with like Hodo there, so I'm gonna assume it's their fucking kid. But he just wanted to have friends. Oh, that's kind of so sad. That's actually so sad how he was always traveling and never had friends. But it's like the whole point of this is to like forge friendships, network, a community. Uh, are these flags? Uh, I don't feel kind of good about this. Hodo, what's going on? Do you have to travel? Why can't you stay here with us? Damn. Oh, hey. I guess Lawrence doesn't really give a fuck. I. Okay. All right. I mean, I thought I thought he'd be like, no, you can stay with me, but it's like, nah. You smart. You can be alone by yourself. But get the fuck out of my face. Where are we going with this? Ma. Okay, we'll take her home. But... <laughs> really? You're not gonna have that store of your dreams? <laughs> You're not just lying to try to make me feel better? Hmm. It's still kind of sad. The, 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 the face, the ears are all droopy. This is not good, man. Because the thing about these like dog, cat, you know, these like furry girls is that you can tell by their like ears or their like tails how they're feeling. There's still that thing that she forgot about too, that she wanted to tell us. So. Oh, 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 hand over shoulder, Riz. He dreams the same one? They're all old friends, right? Fucking depressing episode today! I thought you were strong! Oh, seeing this vulnerable side of Horo after like three episodes of seeing such dominance as... He's using his own fucking drawing of his dream store. He scrunches it up. Here, you can use it to dry your tears with it. Huh. Lawrence is kind of telling her like, Yeah, you know what? This thing, it's, I know it's my dream I said that. You're more important right now. At least he's very thoughtful. Lawrence is very quick with it, right? <laughs> Who said blow your nose on it? <laughs> Thought you were gonna dry your fucking tears? <laughs> and did she damn it a little bit? Maybe, you know, the drawing will be the layer still, but... Okay, are, are we good? No, no more sad, Horo? 
Or is this gonna be like a lingering thing for, for later? Oh, Jesus. So dark. Oh. 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 Oh? <laughs> I can't oh, oh, oh. oh! I thought we are about to fuck! Okay, what's going on? Okay... There are assassins! Wait! Do you have the resolve to kill? Yo, she got a dagger ready. Yes, ma'am. Show me it. <laughs> Jump! What? <laughs> He's wearing like a little potato bag, dude. Look at that sack. There's like four people chasing that thing. Because she can port between grains, right? Wait, 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 wait. The grains are hot. Because I dwell in that we. I, 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 we learned this in episode one, right? We learned this mechanic that like she can like go into like a we. But what the fuck does that like? She just like actually like shrinks in size and like lives in the we. I, I find that hard to believe, but she did say that. And now she's saying it. It's, she dwells in the we. It's hot. What the fuck does that really mean? Flags. Death flags. Never say this shit. We're trying to not die right now. And bro's raising her up. Tail comb. And he's gonna comb the tail too. But usually these are death flags. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh! What? We she knew other people around. Turn into a wolf and fuck him up. Let me see this wolf form. Okay. She can't do that. Lawrence can't just do that. Right. She's already giving the strategies. Is she actually gonna sacrifice herself? What does that mean? For a day or two? I guess they wouldn't do like a close body inspection. You serious? Because she's so lonely. Are we coming back for her? I guess we are later. Bye? So now what? We have to like escape in time. But where's she gonna be caught? At that train company that's backing this right now. <laughs> Some rich dudes are coming come out. Roundy of the Roundy of Grand Duke. <laughs> this is the great Marquis Mirone's Mirone Trading Company. This is the most redundant line I've ever heard, okay? Okay. Th Grand Duke Roundy of the Randy of Grand Duke. Grand Duke Roundy of the Roundy of Grand Duke. They're saying one thing and then repeating it the reverse every time. Okay, but they can't fuck with us, right? Because we're rich here. She. You trying to fuck with the Grand Duke? Get out of here! Must be like whistle to like say like we're getting out. レナラ遠くのミローネ公爵にでも行ってくれ。受注ハック So you saw it happen then help us out bro. それ he wouldn't just do it for free. We need to convince him, right? Why is he doubting us? Okay. 
Aren't we trying to counter the plan? Meaning, because they're already collecting, things are already in motion, it wouldn't make a difference. Okay. We don't need you anymore. But, 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 didn't Hodo, I forget the advice Hodo gave us. She, like, in that alleyway, she told us to do some kind of strategy, right? I forget what she said, but remember that word. I'm in business is business, I guess, right? They're not here to, like, save us. Lawrence just has to figure out a way to explain how saving Hodo would make them more money. It's a lot of flashback scenes <laughs> off of just watching three episodes so far. <laughs> she says something, but I forget. This guy really only thinks about money, huh? Wait, but he's being a little bit sympathetic. Wait, wait. Why? This is a Hodo can fucking hear if silver coins are cut. I don't fucking know. Ho Hodo can go into wheat. I, I don't know. The forest wolf lives in? Hair. Hair? Close the doors in your house to keep the wolf out. What kind of riddle is this? They have to they have the wolf at the church, but close the doors within the house to keep the wolf out. Don't let the big bad wolf come for you? What's going on? I mean Kind of true, maybe? How is he gonna believe this shit? Lawrence? Oh! Oh, she's growling! Well, that's all her noise! Oh! I swear to god, if that's the fucking tooth missing fucking scammer, bro. Who is, who is this? And that's the episode. So, who could be the person at the very end? It's clearly someone that Horo knows. So, either it's someone that we've seen so far in the city, or. Someone completely different that we've never seen, but Hodo's seen from her past? I don't fucking know. That's another episode. This, today's episode, started off kind of shaky. Shaky as in, Hodo's just all over the place. Is she drunk? Is she hungover? Is she sad? Well, technically, all of the above, and we're getting fucking ambushed by assassins, right? Her thing is, she needs to go up north to go up home, but she's so lonely. And loneliness is a disease that eventually kills you, right? And when Lauren said that he's, his dream is to basically settle down and have like a, a big merchant store because he lacks friendship. And maybe that he could potentially find a wife if he, you know, stays and settles down in one location. But that kind of, you know, hurts Hodo and what she wants to do. But I feel like we've already found our wife. Like, merchantry aside, I feel like we've already found our wife. He just doesn't seem to realize it just yet, but... There's, there was that, you know, beautiful moment where Lawrence just basically thought three episodes worth of, you know, flashbacks of Hodo and he's like, no, I gotta try to save her, right? And at the very end, it is that other trading company that's backing the scammer that has us. But what the merchant said before, what the other merchant that's with our side, this blonde guy said, it's very interesting. It's like, well, why would we even need Hodo from the beginning? We already are collecting all the coins. We already know everything. It's not like you guys getting this happening to you guys is not going to impact us. So what does it do for us to save Hodo? And he makes the claim that, hey, uh, she is this wise wolf goddess that's going to bring plentiful harvest. And lore-wise, that's kind of how I explained before. Now, I wonder if the other people here kind of know the same thing, right? And if they do know the same thing, they believe that Hodo can do that kind of shit. Maybe this is a person that Hodo has met in the past that we haven't met yet. I don't fucking know, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.